what kinds of characteristics do you look for when you're thinking about investing in an AI startup? Yeah, usually, uh, usually, given this is very, very early stage, right? Like you start by the team and you look at who they are, what their background is, what is their track record? Why are they doing this? It's really important, right, to understand their values, how they think about things. Then the second piece is you look at the idea that they have and try to understand it, see uh, what's what, what are the assumptions that they're making, why they're well positioned to be the team to deliver it, uh, how will others do in that space? Then the third is, again, given it's very early stage, there will be lots of pivots and things that happen over the course of the five, 10 years in which they, yeah, they're they like planning to deliver this. And so you try to see how big that market is and how organ- how structured it is and what, what might happen there. And then last, you try to think about like, why you, right? Like what is the value add that you have for this team? Because as much as you're picking them, they're also picking you. And so they need to have a, a reason to do that. So usually these are like the four things that I try to think about uh, before um, before joining someone's adventure. Nice. And where do you like meet these people? We were talking actually before starting recording that one of the big things for me um, since the pandemic, I've been working from my home office as opposed to having a physical office to go to, which uh, for yeah for for the my kind of my main job as a data scientist, I've always prior to the pandemic, I was always in an office. And since March 2020, I've been, yeah, working from home. And so I've got like, if you're watching the video version of this podcast, you're typically seeing me in my home office in New York, which is like, it's a pretty nice setup, but it gets pretty annoying when you're in this all day long. Uh, And uh, it also means like in New York, pre-pandemic, there used to be tons of meetups that I'd go to. It was kind of like, you know, after work uh, frequently and sometimes even before work, you'd have, um, you know, you could go for a pizza and a beer at a meetup after work. There'd be some VC firm that's running like a roundtable discussion breakfast before work and you get to meet people. And so, yeah, I used to be able to meet <laughs> other people having startups. It would be conceivable that I could be uh, making seed investments or finding the right people. Um, how do you, yeah, how do you end up finding prospective um, startups that you consider investing in? Yeah, yeah, it's um, as it, it's a really important thing, right? Like because for all the investing bit, there is a part which is finding the deals, and then there is assessing them, and then there is closing, and then there is um, the support, right? Like that you provide. So that that first part is is incredibly important because it generates decides the quality of teams that you see, etc. Uh, in my case, it's mostly been through friends and former colleagues and people in, in this field who will uh, refer things um, to me. Yeah, that's usually how, uh, how it has happened. It's more I'll hear of colleagues who are building something or of friends of friends who are building something. Or sometimes VCs will send deals saying, oh, we're looking at this. What do you think, etc.? Um, that's the main thing. Now, to your point on meetups, etc., there are more and more coming back, right? And so I think we get to have both the ability to do video calls, uh, which are like quick, etc., and to go to meetups, events in person where you build a different type of, of a connection. 